Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, waiting this patiently to receive a gift the glass. from Magnificent Bastard, Neil Charlton. Neil Charlton, you Magnificent Bastard. It is, is by the way, yeah, nice whiskey. 20 year old really? single grain. Well, Effectively what we would probably consider to be 20 year old light, light whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly French corn, if not all French corn, a little bit of barley. 1996. And um, at one of the oldest grain distilleries in, in uh, the land, Scotland. Yeah. yeah. And Barry Brothers and Rudd sourced this as a single release. What's this is uh, 54.8. I would not have guessed that. Me either. It's really I would mild. have said down in the 40s. So light on the nose. Not light in terms of bright, fresh flavors, but light in terms of just presence. <laughs> this was distilled in 1996. Man, why is it so... The beginning of my senior year of high school. Thin on the nose. You getting that thinness? Yeah, it's very paper thin. You say mid fifties ABV, mm -hmm. and you tell me this old. I was like, yeah, oh, this is gonna have some, in a sherry cask too. It's gonna be swinging around some flavors. It's not swinging around flavors on the nose. What the hell, man? So there is a sweet cream for me. There is a it's tiny thread of shortbread is the wrong word. Um, but recently, I had somebody, uh, mom, make me butter cookies. You ever had a butter cookie? Yeah. 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 It's different than shortbread. There's almost, yeah, ugh, this is not helpful. I was about to say pecan sandies without the pecan, but that's nonsense. A little bit of like, citrus? It's, it's basically that cookie vibe, but mm -hmm. it's not heavy hand. It's just kind of like a little bit of breadiness, a little bit of sweetness. There's a kind of a sweetened cream note too. And maybe a little orange zest. Man, this, or a lemon zest. Look, this, this level of difference between expectations mm -hmm. versus experience. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this doesn't add up to me. 20 years old and still that light. I'm not, so what do we know about light whiskey? Uh, well, no, we are, I, I don't know that this is light whiskey, but probably falls into that category, which is distilled higher yes. than normal whiskey. So your, your distillation goes way up higher and you drop way more of the flavor compounds out. Yeah. And then it's aged in used oak. Right, so, so we don't know if it's light whiskey, but that could track because everything else it just leads me to believe there'd be a lot more body and character and presence on the Oh, list. try it. Really? Oh, the, the grain tastes almost young oh. and musty and funky. Oh. That is dramatically different. Wow. That sherry cask really took over yeah. with that almost musty sherry funk mm. note. And this is the farm fresh grainy. Yeah. Like, uh, you, you're, you're harvesting, you got grain bins. I know. would never imagine to taste something that tasted that young in a 20 year old oh, whiskey. That. Yeah, that young and also for something to be that thin on the nose, just like not present, not giving you a lot. And mm. then on the taste, there's a lot of flavor on the taste. Basically the flavor, the notes do feel like you're in the mid 50 ABV range. That is a dried and dusty lemon cookie. Uh, you mixed a, you with a, a lemon Mixed cookie? with a little bit of grain uh, note. Okay, a little water opens it up a lot. Mm, the nose is starting to match the palate now. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of water, crack that open, and now you're getting... So, uh, did you know it's Thanksgiving today? Oh, hi! Sorry. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> uh, does this pair well with turkey? Uh, well, you couldn't get it anyway, so... It's, well, let's just tell people this. This is the one and only whiskey you should pair with turkey. If yeah. you don't have this, don't even bother. Yeah, go home. I've tested Just it thoroughly. Stand up, right. walk out of the room. Yeah. Find your keys, you, get in the car, you leave. Tell Nana. Tell Nana. You refuse to eat her garbage pile. Screw you, Nana. Unless it pairs well with this 20-year-old. <laughs> Don't tell your Nana. Screw you, Nana. That's bad. Oh, my, my. That's bad for My Baga was here today. That's right, she was. She was sitting right here. She you brought, poured her whiskey. She brought three of her friends. And uh, yeah, I gave, gave them a few samples the whole time. I'm thinking, please don't break a hip. Did they all shout, shots, shots, shots the whole time? <laughs> no, but um, I know one of them was a widow and, she's, and I was asking about the whiskeys. And it's like, well, uh, my husband, my late husband really loves scotch. Mm. And uh, you know, I was going through his things and I opened up on the scotches and it smelled like a campfire. Oh yeah. So I immediately just poured it down the drain. Oh no. <laughs> 
Oh no! Yeah. I wonder what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was not Ardbeg. Well, hopefully it's budget. I poured them Ardbeg, and then they did not need more Isla after that. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back in. I have not tasted with water. Have mm, you tasted yeah. with water? Mm-mm. Oh, the the palate got a little flat, sweet, and then musty at the end, but no more. It's not as interesting anymore. Nose is way better. Palate mm. suffered from that. But again. Across all of these, nosing, tasting, tasting with water, this comes across as a much younger character than 20 years mm -hmm. old. 20 years old, I would not guess in a million years if I was doing that blind. Reference analog. What does dry mean? Opposite of wit. Yeah. Neil Mi Oh, did you want to? No, 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 no. Don't. Come on. <laughs> you got... So here's the thing. I don't, I, I don't deserve authority after that. There is, uh, when, there are certain things you talk about that are figurative mm -hmm. when you're doing whiskey tastings, right. you know? And there are certain things you talk about that are closer to literal. Mm -hmm. And oily, for example, is closer to literal. Like, if a whiskey is oily, it feels oily on your tongue. It feels like olive oil or like, like, like the like way... A, like a texture. Or, yeah, or like a heavy oil pasta, mm -hmm. right? Um, dry just means that your tongue actually feels kind of dry yeah. after you some, taste it. Some are really savory and slick and thick and voluptuous and mm -hmm. velvety and others will just leave your mouth. You'll still have liquid in there because you just took a damn drink. Mm -hmm. But you feel like this is a little bit more dry sensation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, And then also that sensation can often accompany specific flavors. For example, most of the dry things I've had aren't typically with very fruity sweet flavors typically unless there's you're in exception. wine there is exception yeah sometimes in wine you can get like a right. burst of fruit and then a really flat dry finish neil middleton daniel please tell us your knowledge on hungarian oak uh. barrels asking for a friend yes share all of your knowledge of well, hungarian oak barrels it's a uh, petrea corcus petrea okay. right yes so you got corcus rover yeah I'm and fact, corcus petrea I'm fact checking this in real time yeah uh, Quercus Petraea is the Hungarian oak, right? Yeah. Quercus Rover is the European oak. And, and most forests in Europe uh, are so old that those species have sort of cross-pollinated and blended together. Near Europe? Europe. Is it near Europe? And uh, Europe. Like neighbor to Europe? Europe. Europe. Uh, however, in Hungary, there are forests that contain a larger dominant percentage of a very specific strain of oak, the Quercus petraea, yes. right? And that oak is more dense and has a larger concentration of the things that turn into really magical vanillins and all of these denser, sweeter compounds when you age in oak. So for a lot of wine guys, it takes longer to get an impact from Hungarian oak, but the notes that you get from it can be a lot more Subtle and nuanced. Neil Middleton, I want you to think about what you did. Did it still not break? No. You just spilled 20 year old grain whiskey on the floor. You know, this is gonna sound really Out bad. of exasperation. This is gonna sound really bad. What? I'm not upset about it. Ah, yeah. It's really not. It that just remarkable. comes across as too young. Meh. It comes across as too young, and you get that proof, and those flavors. The taste is definitely more interesting than the nose, but. But I would expect a little bit more out of 20 years in that proof. Yeah. Yay, we did it. How about that? Because somebody mentioned earlier, it's like, are you guys tired of the toast? It's the same toast. Yeah. I think that's it. Yay. Hey, we did it. <laughs> and over. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, you bastards. <laughs>